Hi guys and welcome to another max to play video. Today we will explore the new features of the Bluetooth plugin. And for that we have another fresh max to play default image, which I just activated the license on and installed the Squeezebox server, the recommended nightly of the version 7.9. And now all we need to do is install our Bluetooth plugin to get started. The Bluetooth plugin we can find, like all our max to play extensions, with this big blue button. We just click it and it sends us over to our extensions overview on the max 2 website. And here we can find the Bluetooth plugin as well as all the other plugins. Here it is. And if we click on it, we get to the details page. And here we can find the download link. And if we copy that, we can paste it into our installation right here. Just click install and it shows up in our menu. Now, usually we only had this upper part and now the lower half has been added to make streaming audio via Bluetooth possible. For that, we need to click another install button to install the Bluetooth feature. Now that our installation is done and we've rebooted the device, we can now see the full features of the Bluetooth plugin. You can see here it is installed and we can scan here for Bluetooth devices. However, what's new, you can see here is the stream audio to max to play or Squeezebox server, which is now possible. So if we have a smartphone, while well we could usually just pair Bluetooth speakers and it's still here listed as just speakers, we can actually now also pair smartphones or tablets which want to play music to our devices. And one example of that is the OnePlus 2 right here, my smartphone, which I have active Bluetooth on. And if we do another scan, it should show up again. And if we click here the reconnect button, we can directly pair the smartphone with our Pi. Scan complete and you can see it shows up again here and if we click reconnect it should immediately start a pairing and that's happening on my phone right now. Start pairing and if I advance here you can see it shows up green. That means the connection is established and we can now start using it to play music. And as I've mentioned, one of these possibilities is to stream directly to a max to play sound card. And this can be done via Pulse. Just select the Pulse option in your output. So if we have, for example, the audio player Squeeze Light, we can select the Pulse audio server. And if we, we need to select it for both of the players. So if we want to play directly to the sound card, we need to select it for squeeze light and we need to select it for share port and click on save for both of these players. And then we can actually play to this player whatever we have playing on our smartphone. However, we have to make sure that only one is running so that the Pulse server can recognize which player it should play to. However, we are not doing that today. We are using the great new feature of playing directly to the Squeezebox server. And in order to accomplish that, we need to go back to our Bluetooth page and check out the other option, Stream to Squeezebox server. And here we have another install button. And this actually sets up a direct channel in our Squeezebox server for the Bluetooth connection. 
So just click on install and the system will set up a channel which we can select in our Squeezebox server which has a direct connection to our smartphone pairing so that anything that we play from our smartphone can directly be played back in as many Squeezebox players as we like. Just wait a second here to let the installation finish. And you can see two newly installed. This is set up in our Squeezebox server, which I installed previously. Now we can go to our Squeezebox server interface. It's a newly installed server, so you have the setup first. I'm going to skip this all in order to show you directly what we've set up here. So the usual interface you are used to in the Logitech media server. However, if we go on favorites, we can now see a channel called Bluetooth 1 plus 2. And if we select this one for playback, we can select all our players and synchronize them to this playback. And once this is done, we can select any of our programs in our smartphone, um, be it Google Play or Audible, which doesn't have a direct connection to the Squeezebox server, or any other playback and play it directly to all our Squeeze players. It's that easy. Okay, that's it for another Max to Play video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them here and see you next time.